lesson is on multiplying fractions. And all my friends out there know how Coach Mike loves multiplication. So let's get to it. Here's our problem. 3 ninths times 4 fifths. I love doing these type of problems. When you multiply fractions, the denominators do not have to be the same. That's cool. Alright, so what am I going to do now? Well, I'm going to cross cancel. Let's see if it works. Let's start with 4 and 9. You know, I can't think of a number that will go into 4 and 9 evenly that's greater than 1. So, I can't do it. Let's go to 3 and 5. Let's see if we can cross cancel those two numbers. You know, once again, I can't think of a number that can go into 3 and 5 evenly that's greater than 1. So I can't cross cancel. So you know what? Let's just go on and multiply our fractions. We're going to start with the numerators. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. Let's move to the denominators. 9 times 5 equals 45. Oh boy! This is a big number. I think I need to simplify this into simplest form. Hmm. I gotta think of a number that can go into both 12 and 45 evenly that's greater than 1. How about 3? Three? 3! Three. Let's do it! Now don't forget, whatever I divide the numerator by, I must divide the denominator by. Also, if I divide the denominator by it, I also have to divide the numerator by it. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> 12 divided by 3, 4. 45 divided by 3, 15. That is simplest form. 3 ninths times 4 fifths is equal to 4 fifteenths. That concludes our lesson on multiplying fractions. Coach Mike at my growing brain challenge yourself.